Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa, you know Papa. <laughs> <laughs> what you used to fan mm. uh, 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 charcoal. Mm. <laughs> you, right. you, you've seen it. Right, right. When you fan I, it, then I, the charcoal I, bright red. This is a, uh, it's, then it's you a call accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you fan government's charcoal. <laughs> it's bright it's, red. It's a call and for I, accountability. I enjoy it. I think literally and figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pricks the conscience very quickly and sharp. Okay. So certainly a fantastic avenue for a great editorial and one that literally wakes us up. This is our society. Right. And it will take me and you mm. to do it. That's why I always watch Donnie's Bite. <laughs> okay. The general watches Donnie's yes, Bite. Very, every day. Thank I you very much. And I is devoid of insults, mm -hmm. but straight to the point. Mm. Factual and fearless. What he seeks to do is to bring attention to some of the ills or some of the problems that we have. Mm. And um, even though it's often very spicy, I was telling mm. him that he could add some ketchup on the side. Oh, you add some ketchup. It's too hot for <laughs> you, eh? too hot. I don't get surprised when people criticize you. But I think you are doing a good job. Thank you, sir. And don't at all think about what people will say continue with the objective work that you are doing and definitely it will help this nation because you are not doing it for yourself but you are, what Ghanaians cannot say is what you are saying hey, Charlie no be joke you know the be pressure joke. people like Johnny can give you no no you know get gray hair you will get gray hair I'm innocent and <laughs> that's what I'm saying that the pressure Johnny and his people <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you you know get gray hair you go get so your best bet is not mm. to have hair Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Hasban Allah wa Nima Akil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Salaamu Alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bites. And I continue to thank all, everybody who has been giving me a gift. You know, one way or the other. The perfume, this, the cash here, all those things. Cake, food for my birthday. Robert Kuman, thank you very much for the pork. Now, this morning, I was thinking deeply yesterday. And then I said, ah, how is it that Aisha Wan got back into the country? She has a Ghana card, which was issued to her on a day when the National Insurance, National Identification Authority doesn't work. And you, who insult people and defend every kind of nonsense and rubbish, you, you don't have a Ghana card. Have you thought about it? That a foreigner is more recognized in your own country than you. Danny, no, we'll do the calendar second. Show me Aisha Wan's card. Now let's do the dichotomy so that when they start typing their stuff with the 20 Ghana data, they will know. So Aisha Wan's card was issued to her. Was, uh, she's a small girl too, 1980 something. Now Aisha Wan's card was issued to her on the 27th of February, 2022. 27th of February, 2022. She got her card in February. You have been queuing at NIA. They are not minding you. Some people have said you should pay money. 2022. Danny, show me the calendar. 27th February, 2022. Let's look at it. 27th February is a Sunday. Aisha Wan was able to get a card on Sunday. You. Defending everything. You, you don't have a Ghana card. You have been queuing and queuing and queuing. They say pay 250 Ghana, pay 200 Ghana, pay 150. You don't have a Ghana card. You see your life. 27th February is a Sunday. Aisha one who is not Ghanaian, has a Ghana card. Let me say quickly a good morning to the boss, the Comptroller General of the Immigration Service, 
And I wore green for a special reason because you people wear green. When they did the, 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 the research and they said that you people were the second most corrupt institution after the police service, you said no. How did Aisha Wan get into the country? I'm asking you, how did Aisha Wan get into the country? Somebody that the senior minister said, oh, as for this one, if we prosecute her, it will not change her force. So, Kwesi Mensa, in, 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 in name when he was pro prosecuted, will change the fortunes of Ghana. Then the attorney general now says, oh, we should, uh, he will start prosecuting. He will prosecute who? I told you, Danny, find me the LMBL DC. I told you the people who tell you we are fighting Galamse, they are the very people doing Galamse. I'm not afraid to say it, I'll say it. Haji Ali Mahamahama put all the DCs together and told them, we know those of you who do Galamse. O two four said to two in the meet, he said, no, 30% of, of us here, you do Galamse. Everybody says, oh, we know the people who do Galamse. Yesterday, DC handcuffed. Why? Chasing excavators. And excavators are not like mobile phone SIM that will get missing. I said, the people who tell you we are fighting Galamse, they are the real perpetrators of Galamse in this country. Let them come and challenge me. Let me have the videos and the, and the documents. I'll prove it to them. I say, every kind of excavator that is brought into this country, eh? every excavator brought into this country, every one of them has a chassis number. Who brought them in? Because the boys you go and find at the Galamse site that they pay 70 Ghana, 80 Ghana, 120 Ghana, they cannot hire an excavator eh, for a full day for 7,500, 8,500, all of that. It's a big man somewhere. So when you catch the boys and you make an excuse, an example of them, and you don't want to ridicule them, punish them, maybe you are not fighting Galamse. Oh. The whole country is like a crime scene. Aisha Wang has a Ghana card. You. Ghana, Ghana daughter, Ghana son, you don't have a Ghana card, you. Meanwhile, this morning you come and insult me, Johnny, stomach journalist. Stomach journalist. You, you, you don't have a Ghana card. You don't even know your locals in the country, you. If today, 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 telcos are blocking your lines because you have no Ghana card, and Madam, I, I have reluctantly decided to extend it. We'll come and tell you, reluctantly, you don't have a Ghana card. Aisha one has a Ghana card. She has come and gone. Aisha Wan is not doing Abate. You know Abate, the game Abate, football Abate. Three people. So one is in the middle. Two people are playing. Then they, they play the ball this way. They play that way. Play. They are playing Abate with her. Aisha Wan is playing Abate with our security services. And the controller of immigration has been given an extension. Controller of immigration. Con controller general of immigration has been given an extension. Somebody who has refused that they have a senior officers association. They have some, 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 I, I, I don't want to. You have some, some masquerades say that, oh, we, we are senior whatever staff. Then they go and write in Daily Guide and Chronicle. But I told them not to cross that line. If they cross that line, the more documents will come. Somebody who is able to give his niece, his niece's husband two promotions in a day, call him from interdiction and give him a promotion. Somebody who says all officers must come to the headquarters if they have medical issues. He's not giving a medical allowance again. Then the presidency decides that upon all of this, if the president doesn't, you say the president is a listening president. He's not. Aisha one is a classic case of how, how COVID exposed our medical fraternity is how Aisha one has exposed our security. She has told us, demonstrably that anybody can walk in and walk out and do what they want. What Aisha Wan did, if a Ghanaian did, they would be in Sawam, Ankafu, or wherever it is by now. What Aisha Wan did, and I say me, I believe strongly that Aisha Wan has evidence on people in high places. I believe strongly so. What Aisha Wan did, if John Hughes does it, Bella does it, Cookie does it, Haji Alorato does it, they will go to jail. Aisha Wan is working free. Senior minister and now senior advisor to the president said, oh, prosecuting her will not then. Why is the senior minister? He still has the president's ear. He's the one who tells the president, sit down, he'll sit down, stand up, he'll stand up, sleep, he'll sleep. 
ya also for buffo when he finishes he will go and make ethnocentric comments that when we're fighting for independence the ashantis were not there it was the eastern region people he's still at post he's chopping your tax he's older than ghana people who are older than ghana are getting jobs and you young people who are then you come and be defend that's the painful part of the conversation when i did the nhis registration and thank you for all who turned up the stories that people met, told me i was so heartbroken so heartbroken i said i shall one let me say it again rub it to your face i shall one has a ghana card she's not ghanaian i didn't say it is illegal for foreign people to have ghana card oh. no because there's an allocation for foreign people but you the ghanaian any country that is responsible enough for its citizens will first of all take care of them Go to the U.S. Embassy. Go to the British. They will take care of their citizens first. Everybody is an addition. In our case, foreigners have Ghana card. You, you don't have Ghana card. They are blocking your SIM. Your small Momo coins, 25 CDs, they will even block you. You can't send it. And you come in, in the morning and come and type rubbish. You, you are, the you are the reason we are suffering because you can't speak truth to power. Aisha one got a card on the 27th of February 2022 as a Sunday. That's NIA work on Sunday. So you see, you don't get connection. In this Ghana, you are nobody. Like Muko Mako would say, you are no super in the nation. You, you are nobody. Zero, zero point zero zero zero. And I want you to focus on this as a young person and think deeply. When they ask you to come and malign somebody, they ask you to come and insult somebody, they ask you to go and attack somebody, ask yourself, where are their children? When they are sick, they get onto a plane and travel outside. Oh, they do, they do. <laughs> Speaker will travel outside, medical help, uh, medical, medical, whatever. The finance minister, even, can, can you imagine yesterday somebody was talking to me, said finance minister said he was sick. Then he left Data Bank because he was not too, too well. But he, he left Data Bank, which was a private thing, and he came to work as our finance minister for the whole country. And then when he finished, he was sick. He was outside receiving medical care. His big cousin kept the job for him and decided that Osei Chiemen Sabos will read the budget on his behalf. And then when he comes back, he'll come and take the thing because Data Bank and Black Star will consult for us when we are going to collect bonds and loans. You see how the, the, the thing is working? And you, you don't even have a Ghana card. You are defending every kind of rubbish. Today, you go and queue, they'll tell you there are no cards. Then you go home. They say they have cut off. After 40 people, they have cut off. Go home. Then you come. You keep taking that. And then you think that you, you are more, you are more, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. If you cannot see how the things are going, there's something wrong with you. And I need you, I need you to recognize this quickly. I'm not asking you to attack anybody, insult anybody. No, no. I don't support any of that because I don't do that. But I'm saying that you need to recognize that somebody somewhere is taking advantage of you as a young person. You will come and insult people when you finish, you go and cut your mother's bread and eat. Instead of you buying bread for your mother to eat. Sunday oi, I said well. That means since we started the uh, let the retirees go and let the young grow campaign, it's been yielding results. I told you, Greater Accra, Director of Education is gone. Said they're doing uh, Thanksgiving service or handover, whatever it is. Uh, Savannah or Northern Region is gone. I'm waiting for Ashanti to go, Volta to go. They are all retired. Central Region, I'm told they have gone. The woman, I'm told, has handed over, but she's still around the office. Boss, if you have handed over, please go home. Play with your grandchildren and your children. Let the younger people get job to do, I beg you. Okay? Okay. So this is the letter. Justin Ivy Apau. This is director of, of Commander Central Region. Assignment as caretaker director um, of the Regional Education Office. I write on behalf of the Ghana Education Office to assign you as an additional role of a caretaker to oversee the activities of the Central Regional Education Office effective 5th September. That was my birthday. Uh, as a caretaker director, you, should, you shall play the temporary role as the cost center manager responsible for the effective financial management 
of the regional education office you shall also be responsible for the supervision of teaching learning and all other educational uh, and academic programs and activities in ghana education service ts schools and offices within the region in addition to the above you shall perform any other function assigned to you as a director please know that your caretaker assignment is a temporary role and will be terminated as soon as a substantive regional uh, director is appointed professor kwesi opukwa mankwa professor opukwa mankwa is working then he showed me the letter where the woman said i have handed over that's the final one the woman says oh but make, make coffee if you know any retiree in any public sector employment who is staying on, who is asking for contract extension, give me their name and their picture. I have some already. I have about 42. They have asked me not to mention them now because it is still my birthday. My birthday is for a full week. I'll end on Monday. If after Monday you have not left, oh, you will like me. I will mention your name. I'll put your picture. Because even this woman, I have a picture I have a picture in some nice African print seated on a stage. She wears spectacles. I have a picture. So I will put it out. So if you're a retiree, go so that the young people can get a job to do. And that is a letter, 5th September, on my birthday. And I like it. It's a handy over note. I, Martha Ajeman, Ousu Ajeman, Mrs., the Regional Director of Education Central, have with effect from Monday, 5th September 2022, Handed over the General Assembly uh, Administration to Justin Ivy Appel, Mrs. Municipal Director of Education, Commander Edina Eguafwe Brim, that's Park Resinum Silis, Elmina, that's my hometown too, assigned an oversight responsibility as the acting regional director of education while I proceed on compulsory retirement. So you knew from the Ghana Education Service. The details of the handy over notes are attached. The specimen signature of the incoming acting regional director appears as below alongside mine. And they have all signed beautifully. That is why they are going. And I'm happy about it. Every retiree should please go home. Let the retirees go so that the young can grow. If you know the retirees, tell me. Very soon, I'm entering trash. Very soon, I'll go to the port. I told you. I decided to hold on because I want the retirees to start going home first. When we finish, I will get into those places that are supposed to be looking at issues of corruption. And they are refusing to do so. I will go there very soon. Because I think that, yes, we have, we have bashed the politicians. But there are also individuals who are civil servants who are hiding behind the politicians to perpetrate crime against us and rape the nation. I will fish them out for you. Ye make a him here, I make a man not be sure. I make a blind, go blind, ye pillay, no chumoy. Good morning.